Hi there, this is Jen and thanks so much for joining me. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say happy Canada, Canada Day for those that celebrated on July 1st and also happy um, 4th of July or Independence Day for those in the States that we are celebrating tomorrow. Um, stay safe. Um, this is my update for the month of June for my Crafty Goals collab with Amalia. This is a group of us where we have, um, at the beginning of year, we established some goals and we picked up a few um, new collabers along the way. Um, so please don't forget to check out in the description below all everybody that is involved um, if you would like to follow along and see their progress. Um, for me, I do a spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you kind of a little snapshot here and then I will show you more details uh, during the middle of the video and then kind of a summary at the end. So I just keep track of all of mine um, in the spreadsheet and I use a program called I don't have Word on this computer, so I use a problem called a problem. <laughs> I use a program called Libre. It's L I B R E, and uh, it is a free program. It's got basically everything that Word has. Uh, uh, so it has like a spreadsheet program. It has a database, and all that. Anyhow, um, so this is where I track my goals, and so. This is a little summary or a snapshot where you can see, um, if you remember, if you've been with me last month, I did remove a goal, which was practice creating scene cards. Um, other than that, I've ha I have two goals that are completed, and then I am still working on the rest of these goals. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a little note in there for number five, which is organize craft room. Um, I did complete that goal back in March, and I wanted to give a quick like pan over or update uh, next month so you can kind of see where I've been with that. Um, I have been doing pretty good. I do, I am doing better at cleaning up after I finish a project and putting things away and organizing. So I'm really happy about that. Um, I also wanted to mention really quick, I have um, an, exci <laughs> an exciting announcement uh, towards the end of the video, um, along with some other information that I wanted to share with you. So um, please stick around. So I'm happy to say six months in, I was able to complete all of the goals in one month. Um, I don't know if that's going to follow through for next month, but um, I didn't have any, uh, no signs this month. So I'm super happy about that. Um, so I'm just going to go through a, in a little bit more detail my goals. So the first one is complete one art journal entry or mixed media project per month. Um, I did cards. I didn't do uh, journal entries or really like a canvas mixed media project, but I did several cards and here are two of my favorites. And ironically, they both use the same floral <laughs> stamp. Um, the next one is practice creating scene cards. This is the goal that I decided to no longer um, try and achieve. So this is the goal that has been removed. Complete two all to new classes per month. I did actually complete two classes this month. Um, I do have one project that I need to do, which is creating a card, but I did complete the classes and create one card. And then create card box and keep cards that fit in this box. Um, this is one that I kind of modified a little, but it is complete. Um, I chose to use this Ikea basket instead of a box. Um, and I do want to mention along with this that if you want me to send you a card, I do have a overflow and I would love to send out some cards. So please just message me and uh, let me know if you're interested and I will get a card mailed out to you. Uh, my next goal is organized craft room, which again, I completed that in March, but I will do an update next month. And then post one to two videos a month, which would be a minimum of four on YouTube. And I actually did really good this month. Um, I posted 11 videos and I think last month I did six. Last month was really hard for me because of everything that's been going on. Kind of let it get to me, but um, I was back on track this month. And so um, I actually am surprised that I posted that many. Um, be involved and more active on social media. I was a part of several collabs and just special projects. And um, I have remained involved on my social media accounts. Um, since I'm on a card every month, I did send a Father's Day card out. And I wanna say that I sent another card out and I cannot remember who I sent that card to, but I definitely did. Use One Forgotten Supply. So the, the forgotten supply that I'm choosing to use this month is alcohol markers. Um, and I'm saying that because 
it's alcohol markers are not something that I normally use. I am more comfortable with watercolor, but I really want to try and learn a little bit more about how to use them. So I did create several projects using alcohol markers. And then use pattern paper. I did use uh, a piece of pattern paper from my stash, not something that I purchased recently, um, for this card that I created for a design team project for Not Too Shabby. And then learn how to use Scan and Cut. Um, I've been doing really good. It was not that much to learn. And so currently I'm just using it to cut my stamped images. And so here's a quick um, recap. This is the sheet I use. I print it out and then I write on it throughout the month and then I just type it up when it's time to do this update video. So this is just kind of how I um, keep track of my goals. So I just wanted to share that with you. And I wanted to share my exciting news, which is I am now going to be a member of the Seven Kids Craft Store um, video design team. This is their inaugural design team and myself and several other, other ladies will be working on that design team. And I am so super excited about that. Um, so I will be doing the Not Too Shabby design team as well. And then next month I will be able to announce some other exciting news. Um, along the same line. So I'm super excited about that and I feel very blessed and just um, excited, I guess. So I hope you'll join me for my update next month and continue to watch my channel. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today and uh, I hope to catch you next time. Thanks so much.